You tried to protect her. From what? Natasha came to me penniless, cold to the bone, and wounded. She was only 17 years old. Even if she were my enemy, I would have taken her in until she recovered. Yes, I'm like that. I was raised to be like that. Haven't you seen any opportunities for profit? Or were you guided by pure animal goodness? Is that so hard for you to believe? I think that uh, worldly women like you try to turn every position to their advantage. I hope I don't offend you. On the contrary. <laughs> but no. I didn't see any opportunities in a girl who could barely speak our language, who was starving and wounded and obviously running from something. In fact, I was taking unnecessary risks because of her. You knew you were taking a risk, yet you still took her in. Why? I don't know, Mr. Featherland. These things can't always be rationally explained. Not even when I've lived my whole life based on reason, on logic, almost every step calculated. So Natasha came and turned your whole life upside down. She's like that, isn't she? It's in her nature, yes. Poor thing can't help it. She's like a tornado. She usually takes everything with her. That's quite an apt metaphor. But I have to agree. Did she sweep you away, too? I don't know yet, madam. I'm clinging firmly to the ground. Do you know where Natasha came from before Clawville? Naturally. The poor dear couldn't even deny it. Even her name's eloquent, her accent, but mostly her manners, Mr. Featherland. She's from Stovos, and she belonged to the upper class of Stavonian social circles. She could barely even speak the language when I first met her. That's all you know about her. An ex-spy like you must have checked up on her new protege's past. That's the most exciting thing. Yes, I have. Multiple times putting my most treasured connections to good use. But nobody found anything. Natasha's trail could only be traced back to the Stovonian border. What happened in that country, no one knows. It's rather curious, don't you think? It is, Mr. Featherland. Yes, curious. That's why I've always been... Rather fond of Natasha. Did it touch you deeply when she left you? Indeed. <laughs> it did. Zavos is protective. It seems she's dedicating her whole life to her protégés. If I concentrate on that, maybe she'll open up to me. Why did you let her leave with Wessler? What else could I have done? Wessler is a handsome, rich, powerful animal. And Natasha fell in love with him. If anything, I know you can't stand in the way of a woman in love. There's nothing more dangerous, Mr. Featherland. I've been in this job for more than 20 years, but I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> you see? You learn something new every day if you have an open mind. Yes. When was the last time you saw her, Madame Zavas? Maybe around two months ago. There was a ball, attended by Ibn Wessler, his beautiful mate Natasha, and myself, yes. Was she herself? Did you feel like she was afraid or worried about something? On the contrary, she was unrestrained, free, radiant. She was in love. Yes, in her own unique way. What do you mean? You know Natasha loves on a different level than most Clawville women. Or most women in the wilderness, in fact. 
Maybe it's because of the Stovonian origins. Perhaps it's something else. So you didn't notice anything strange about her? Well, if anything could be called strange, it was that I saw a woman positively floating above the ground, who previously used to stand on it with two feet. I see. Thank you, madam. How did you feel when you learned Natasha was going to leave? Honestly? I was very hurt. I loved her as a daughter. How would you have felt? I couldn't say. And I still couldn't stop her, and you know why? Of course I do, because you loved her. You've been in my shoes before, am I right, Detective? Yes, I can feel you have. This isn't about me, madam. Please stop changing the subject. I have felt betrayed on a certain level. Yes, and offended, and alone. Even amongst all my friends. Were you disappointed in her? Only in myself, Mr. Featherland. But I have a hunch you know this feeling very well. Yes, you're right. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Any time, detective. Yes, any time. Please, gentlemen, wait here a moment. I would like to show you something that could help you. Oh, that's excellent news. Thank you. We will wait. Do you trust her? Not in the slightest. Even her smile is fake. This woman wallowed in other animals' secrets until she became one, too. That's exactly how I feel. Anyway, now that we're here, we can take a better look around. Just what I was thinking. These books are here for a reason. They mean something. A hidden door. Who'd have thought? She is a legendary ex-spy. Well, this is something I've never understood. Why isn't a key good enough? I mean, you can take that with you, but riddles can be solved by anyone. I don't think many animals get to be in this room, Marty. And the other thing is, maybe she wanted us to find it. Exactly what I'm thinking. Who knows? Anyway, we're going in. This room is not like her at all. The other must have been for show. Marty, this is the reality. We're talking about a professional spy. A former spy. Still, if anyone knows how to mask her real face, it's her. Well, you think this is who she really is? Cold, dark, and tiny. And full of secrets. So the rumors are true. Military intelligence. This dame's really something. I'm starting to think the whole brothel is just a cover. Ah, uh, makes sense. You think she's still working for royal intelligence? Well, based on what she told us, she's a committed royalist. So I imagine she does. Hector III, our great and fair king. I feel sorry for the poor fox, to be honest. I don't. He has it pretty good. Would you like to live your life as a puppet? Everything you do, carefully planned. Your rule and authority, the whole thing, just for show. Even if he is just a puppet, Clawville needs a king. He gives strength and hope to many animals. Huh. I guess. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Me too. We better get out of here before she comes back. Somebody started typing a letter, but left it unfinished. What does it say? Number 2947222, 2, 2, 2, 
Report about separatist group movements. Damn it. Don't even read that. What? Why not? I don't know about you, but I don't want to get caught up in the royalist separatist conflict. What you don't know can't hurt you, right? Uh, I can't even recognize you, boss. Where did you put your sense of adventure? My sense of adventure has retired. Leave it alone. Ah, names, numbers, dates. Oh, furry gods. Do you think they all belong to the brothel? Hell no. Half of it is a matter of national security. What did we step into? You know what? I don't care, Marty. I'm too old for conspiracies. The only thing that matters to me is to find out what the furry hell we're doing here. And what it has to do with Natasha. Sure, 